from uh, my understanding in discussions around what was going on at Mission, um, that there had been quite a lot of transmission before it was recognized. So uh, the protocols that were put in place in the provincial correctional facility, uh, we were able to identify somebody very early, and has that has helped us in 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 all of our. Uh, we it's the same analogy for our long-term care homes. If you're able to catch it early, particularly if it's a a worker versus a resident. Uh, um, the chances of transmission happening to others in that area um, go down dramatically. So the process in place, it just, you know, sometimes it's very challenging. As we know, um, people can have very mild illness or have, uh, um, or not recognize that they're ill for a couple of days. And uh, depending on what their role is in a, in a facility, they can spread it quite widely. So we are continuing to work with uh, the correctional facility in the Okanagan as well. Well, and people are being monitored. The the way the facility was set up enabled um, people to be isolated in different groups. Um, I know it's a more challenging situation in Mission, and we are in the middle of the incubation period in both those cases. So it is very likely or probability that there may be more people who show up with the disease. But um, the infection prevention and control pieces are in place in both of those. Uh, places now, so it's a little bit more um, watching and seeing what's happening, and uh, making sure that we are not transmitting, not have opportunities for more people to transmit for the next, um, the next chain, the next generation of cases. So uh, Fraser Health will be actively working with Mission, and it's it's very challenging, and we see that in long-term care as well. Once you have a number of cases, and there's been ongoing. Um, exposures, it's very challenging to manage, and uh, that's what we're seeing in, in, in the mission site.